All right, guys, so uh, for this episode, we're going to quickly talk about the Thermodrop Zipper Pull Thermometer. Very popular uh, small thermometer used by hikers and outdoor enthusiasts, etc. It's got this small little unit here. I'm going to show a little demonstration um, later in the video where uh, I show how to use it from a practical point of view. But it uh, just has this little sort of keychain attachment. You can put it on your backpack, put it on your hip sack, wherever you want on your coat zipper, uh, like it kind of indicates. Uh, this is a company who makes it, Thermoworks, and uh, they suggest it's about $22. Uh, I believe that's American. Um, that's their site, and I think you can buy it directly from their site. Uh, I bought mine in Canada from geartrade.ca, fabulous uh, online retailer. You can see there after the exchange rate's about 36 bucks. Definitely worth it pick your different colors here. I picked uh, something easy to find so that if it drops or whatever it's easy to see in the grass or in the backcountry or in the snow. Uh, you definitely use this in the winter also in the summer just to know what the temperatures are. Um, so yeah you can get it from Gear Trade uh, from their website they do have some information about the operating temperatures they say it goes down to minus 25 Celsius and up to 50 degrees Celsius. It's minus 13 Fahrenheit to 122 Fahrenheit. Seems to be the operating temperature. I have not yet seen it go below minus 25. Um, I, I, actually, I might have made a video uh, with my sleep system where it was somewhere around there, but I, I can't remember now. But anyways, that's what they advertise as the operating temperatures. And of course they have uh, how to operate it. And I went through all these steps in a little video clip and we'll show that in a minute. It does take a battery, CR2025, which you're able to get from most hardware stores if you need to replace it. Uh, when I bought mine, I think it's lasted for a year and a half before I have to replace the battery, so it does last a very long time. Anyways, I uh, hope that helps for you to make a decision. Very useful in the backcountry when you're doing multi-day trips and whatnot to see what temperature gets down to overnight so you know how to uh, prepare for the next night anyways all right so let's talk about the functionality of this uh, thermo thermometer from thermoworks I think it's called the thermo drop and it's a keychain thermometer I use this for hiking all the time so to power it on you just kind of hold it for five seconds I'll sort of push it to hold it for five seconds to power it off okay so there's powering it off so let's start with the first operation, powering it on. Okay, and that's what you have there. So I'm just going to hold it up here because it tries to change orientation. Um, so that's the current temperature. Um, the backlight, I guess if you push this backlight button, it backlights for 10 seconds. Just pushing it really quick. Uh, to power it off, you of course hold the button for five seconds. That's the first thing you saw. To see max and min temperatures over the time that this has been turned on, push this for three seconds. One, two, three. Okay, so that's one temperature. That's another. You push this. Three seconds, I think. And that is the backlight holding it for three seconds. That's the min. There's the max. And then says current temperature. Okay, so that's how you cycle between uh, min and max. You hold it for three seconds, max will flash. Press it again to view the min. Min will flash in the display. And to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius, when you turn this on, you just hold this, hold it on for five seconds. So i um, going to power it off by holding it for five seconds. Okay, now it's off. Now I'm going to power it on and hold it, and it should change from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Hold it for five seconds on startup. So right now it says 23 Celsius. Boom. Change to Fahrenheit, 74. Power it off. Power it 
power it on and just hold it and it should toggle to Celsius boom Celsius that's pretty much it um, I guess the last part is to show how you change the battery now for me I just replaced the battery it's a CR2025 is the type of battery which you can get from most hardware stores um, when you push the button to see min max it will flash a little uh, three letter that says BAT and that means batteries low and then you need to switch this up and if you look carefully here you will see there's a little unlock on this side and a lock icon on that side and a little indicator here on the circle so to unlock you go counterclockwise so let's use like a little nickel and pop that out and you replace the battery and then to put it back line up that little toggle make sure you snap this in with the unlock and then turn it clockwise waterproofed locked and good to go anyways i'll show some more footage on the desktop and where you can buy this from uh, how much it costs and all that kind of stuff